Hi, Clint here, and today I am at the Carl Cole Sports Complex in Osawatomie, Kansas. Um, if you don't know where Osawatomie is, you would just get on 169 at Aletha. Go straight south, you would go past Spring Hill, Paola, and then Osawatomie. So it's probably about 25 miles south of I-35. Anyway, they have put a mile zero um, trailhead down here in Osawatomie. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And it's actually on the Flint Hills Trail. So that trail runs um, east-west. I think it goes to Council Grove. Um, it'd be a heck of a bike ride. Really crazy run, but I'm just going to go, I think, um, five out and five in and see what this new um, section of the trail looks like. So hopefully it holds off in raining. It was really pouring just a second ago. Um, so hopefully I'll get stuck out there in a big storm. But um, if I do, it will not be the first time. If you come down here to park, you want to go um, behind the baseball stadiums, kind of towards the railroad tracks, and then there is this gigantic parking lot here. So um, plenty of access if there was a, a race here, or you could even park, you could park by the park, but you don't have to. So um, just a, um, a quick um, direction. Okay, right at the beginning, there is a lot of railroad tracks right next to me, so maybe I can get a shot of a train going by. Well, here's the first bad thing so far on the trail. It must be low light because there's just a ton of water here, so I think I can get around still up here, but um, not exactly what you want to do. Okay, well that didn't work at all. I couldn't really get around. Uh, maybe there's a way to get around, but I can't tell what it is. So I'm gonna to try to find a different spot on the trail. Um, I don't know, at least get to see the beginning, I guess, to see what it looks like at the start. So I will um, just catch this trail later, um, a little bit down the road. Okay, let's try this again. I went and picked up the trail probably like four miles past. So I'm outside of Osawatomie now. I've kind of been on this before. I started way further in the country, so this is still a little bit different, but honestly, once you get in here, it kind of all looks the same, so. So today is a really good example of what running's like. Try to find a new route, get lost. Try to find a new route, it is covered with water. Try to find a new route, it completely pours. You kind of question if the weather's gonna be good enough for your run, so. Um, so far I've gotten past all those things and I'm still going. That's probably the biggest thing, no matter what gets put in front of you. Just get out there and do your run.
you're looking for a run to socially distance, this is the perfect one. I haven't seen one person. I've barely seen any animals. So no, nobody on horseback, nobody on bicycles, and nobody else running. It's raining a little bit, but I don't think that's the reason I think it's not that well traveled during the week. So anyway, it's pretty much all can canopy cover too um, from where I started. So um, I think it's been raining some, but I haven't really even felt it and it hasn't really gotten the trail that muddy. So it's another nice advantage to this run. So I'm halfway done. I'm gonna head back now. All right, I made it. I did not see one other person the whole time. And it was tough. Um, I don't know if that other part just floods every once in a while, if that's a common thing. So um, I guess just go there when it doesn't rain, but it, we were in a flood warning today, so maybe that's not a big deal. Anyway, it's a fun place to run. Relatively flat, relatively covered. Not muddy even when it pours. And um, you get to run by yourself. So if that sounds good to you, you should try it out. Um, thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.